Hello friends, in this video we will solve the KMAP sum. So the first sum we have is y is summation of this main terms. Alright, and you have to draw, first you have to derive the equation of the output. Then you have to implement that using the basic kits. As simple as that. So first we will require the KMAP. So this KMAP is of SOP. Like the output should be 1. That was the basic I have covered in my previous videos. Please do watch that. So the combination here we have is A bar B bar. Then we have a bar b then we have here as a b then we have a b bar similarly here we have c bar d bar then we have c bar d then c d then we have c d bar now this decimals are 0 1 2 3 then we have 4 5 6 7 then here we have 8 9 10 11 then we have 12 13 14 15 now this mean terms are this means that the output is high for this decimals so put one for the decimal respective decimal so for 0 the output is high similarly for 2 the output is high then for 5 the output is high then for 6 7 the output is high then for 8 output is high then for 10 output is high then 13 15 output is high all right now what you have to do you have to just club the common parts you have to club this in 4 so this 4 are the common all right you can club that then this 4 outer 4 you can club. So what is the equation? So for this B is common. Here we have D as common. So B D. Here you can look that uh, B bar is common. And here you see that D bar is common. So B bar D bar. So this is the case. And you can note that here 2 are possible. So for here the combinations are 2, 4, 8 and so on. 8 is not possible here only 2 and 4 combinations are possible so 2 can be clubbed 4 can be clubbed so we have clubbed 4 here we have clubbed 4 here and we are clubbing 2 here all right because it was left here like this was left so what is the answer for here we have a bar b a bar b we have and here you can see that the common is c so a bar b we have then common is c so this is the answer so this was the answer by using the kmap. Now we have to implement this using the basic kits. So the very first logic I would say recommend you is like first draw the A, B, C and D lines. Correct. Then the complement of that by using the NOT gates. Alright. So A complement. Then we have the B complement. Then we have the C complement. Then we have the D complement. Now, first you have to see that at the question we have we will need one OR gate because we have to sum up all of that. Now, if we talk about the individual terms, some variables are added. Uh, sorry, some variables are multiplied. So when multiplication comes in the picture, what you have to do use the AND gate. So we will require three AND gate because we have three such terms where term variables are multiplied we have three terms where variables are multiplied and multiplication comes in picture you have to use the AND gate so three AND gates first is a bar b c so the inputs are a bar then we have b then we have c for second gate we had b bar d so b bar is here then d bar is here then we have b d so b is here d is here so these are the so output here is a bar b c output here is b bar d bar output here is b d then we have to use what we have to use or because we are adding all of that so the or gate and this is nothing but the output so in this way you can minimize this by using the k map after finding the equation you can implement using the basic gate like this so i hope you like the video so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. This is Shrenik Jain. Peace out.